Hi everybody, this is Scott Sharp with Fretboard Toolbox, and I've written music theory books for a bunch of different instruments like guitar, ukuleles, mandolin, piano, banjo, but I've been trying to play around lately with a way to show people how to build major scales. And so I'm thinking that I've got a, a way to see that, but it's uh, it could be a little tricky. You have to be able to do this with your hand. Okay, so if you can do that, then we can build some major scales. So let's uh, give it a shot and see if we can follow along. Okay, today I'm going to be using a complete guitar ebook, and we're going to start off on the standard notation jig. And what we want to be able to see is a piano uh, layout here. And what we want to be able to see with the piano layout is um, how far these different notes are apart from each other. So you may have heard that the key is C major is all white keys on a piano, and that's because um, it, C major is made of the notes C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C. And so you'll notice that you have to skip a key, a piano key, to go from C to D. You have to skip one to go from D to E. E and F are right next door. F and G, you skip the black one here. G and A, you skip one. A and B, you skip one. And then B and C, you don't. And notice that from C to C, we only see each letter one time. So there's a C, a D, E, F, G, A, B. So the reason I want you to make your hand like this is because the distance, uh, we're going to start with this is our C note, okay, so the distance from C to D is called the whole step, so it's far apart on your fingers. So C to D we skip a note, that's a whole step. Then from D to E we skip a note, so D to E we skip one. E to F are right next door to each other, okay, so E and F are right next door. Then we go F, G. We, so we skip a note there. That's a whole step is F to G. Then it gets a little weird. Okay, we go from G to A. Okay, so that's a far distance. So we're skipping a note there. So G to A is a whole step. Then A to B is a whole step. Okay, A to B is a whole step. And then B to C is a half step again. Okay, so we go C, D, E, F. G, then we go to A, which is a whole step, B, C, or if we want to just count it in steps, we've got whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Okay, so then if we want to see that on a, uh, on a piano or on a guitar, um, we can go uh, scroll down here and we'll go to the key of C major. We can click on that, and then you'll notice these white boxes here have the notes C, D, E, F. So whole, whole, half, whole, 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 and then it goes back to C. So C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And then the cool thing about a toolbox is we can see uh, where are all of those notes laid out on the fretboard. So we have C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, okay? And on a guitar that looks like this, if I knew where my pick was, I guess I'll do it with my thumb. C, D, E, F, okay? So that's C, and then I went open D, E, F. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And then I can find those notes C, D, E, F, G all up and down the fretboard. So uh, let's try a different key, and then we'll start seeing if we can see how the sharps and flats work. So I'll go back to the top here. Whoops. I'll go back to the top and scroll down to that standard notation jig again. Okay, now let's try the key of G. So for the key of G major, I want to be able to go G, whole step to A. So we're going to go G, A, and then A to B is a whole step. So it goes, let's get, make it bigger here for you. It goes G to A is a whole step. A to B is a whole step right here. 
B to C is a half step. So B and C are right next to each other. C to D is a whole step. D to E is a whole step. And then we have to go a whole step up from E. So a half step up from E is F, but a whole step is this note right here, which could be called F sharp or G flat. But in the key of G, I've got to call it F sharp because I can only use each letter once. So I've got G, A, B, C, D, E. Okay, and then I need to go a whole step from E, so that would be my F sharp. And then from F sharp, I go a half step and I get back to the G. Okay, so if we want to see that on a, um, how that's all laid out here on the toolbox, we can go to the key of G major. And let's back it off just a little here. Let me go G, A, B, C. So G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, and then back to G. Okay, so let's try uh, a trickier key. Well, one thing I want to tell you is that the key of G has one sharp, and the reason is because it just has that F sharp. So all the different keys have a different number of sharps and flats, and so let's try something like E major. Okay, so on E major, I'm going to go E, whole step is to F sharp, F sharp, whole step up is G sharp, G sharp, a half step up is A, so E, F sharp, G sharp, A, whole step from A is B, a whole step from B is C sharp, and then a whole step from C sharp is D sharp, and then a half step from D sharp is E. So we go E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, E. And if we count those sharps up, there's one, two, three, four. So the key of E has four sharps. Let's try one more just for practice here. Um, let's try the key of, let's do something a little bit trickier, like E flat. E flat has three flats. Okay, so we go, we want to go E flat. And E flat goes to F, because this would be an E note right here, and E and F are right next to each other. So we go E flat, F, a whole step from F is G, a half step from G is A flat, not G sharp, because I can only say the letter G once. E flat, F, G, A flat, a whole step from A flat is B flat, a whole step from B flat is C, a whole step from C is D, and then a half step up from D is E flat. And another cool thing about this hand method is that you may be familiar with the idea of bluesy notes. Uh, let's hit uh, the key of G here. Okay, and you'll see on my line here on this uh, first row, we've got a B flat in italics and an F because those are your bluesy notes. You've got three main bluesy notes in every key, what's called the flat three, what's called the flat seven, and then there's also one called the flat five. So the flat five of G would be D flat because it is uh, in between the four and five here. Okay, so the cool thing about those, those flat notes uh, is that, or those, uh, like the flat three, flat five, flat seven, is that they give you this nice, cool bluesy sound. And you can mix them with major scales. Bluegrass does that all the time. Blues does it. And if we look at this hand method, uh, our bluesy notes are all going to be in this pocket right here. So we've got the key of G is G, A, the third note is B, so the flat third is called B flat, and that's a cool note in the key of G. Okay, so B flat's in here, then we go to B, then a half step from B is C, and then a whole step from C is D, but if I want to, then that's my five note. So D is the five. If I want a flat five, I can, it'll be right in here. So if this is D, then D flat is my flat five. So I've got one is G, two is A, the flat three is B flat. So G, A, B flat. The third note is B, the fourth is C, the fifth is D, 
the flat 5 is D flat, which would be right in here. And then we got E, and then the, is the 6th note. The 7th note is F sharp, but if I flatten that, it becomes an F. So it's in this pocket again. So F, F sharp, G, which would be F, F sharp, and then the next note would be G. So with the toolbox, you can see all those notes laid out. And here's my B flat. So we have the one note, the two, the flat three, the three, the four. So G, A, B flat, B. And then we go C, D, E. So here's C, D, E. And then a half step up from E is called the flat seven note. That's the F right here. And then a half step up from that is F sharp. That's your seven. And then back to G is the root. So the cool bluesy notes are right in the pocket here. And you can do this for any key. Just remember you can only say each note name one time. So uh, just to let you hear that sound real quick, um, uh, here is uh, B flat B D E G, which would be like... So that's B flat A G E G F E D G flat B D B G. So, anyways, I hope that you found something useful there. Remember, it's a weird hand thing, and it's a bummer that the one note doesn't end on the same finger each time, but I've tried 100 hand combinations, and the best I can do is one, two, three, half step to four, whole step to five, whole step to six, whole step to seven, and then you got your eight, and your bluesy notes are right in these pockets, and they're going to sound super cool. So uh, thanks for stopping by, and I'm going to have lots more videos coming on lots more instruments. Thanks for taking a look.